learn how to debug your own code by looking through the error message you should be able to understand and fix your own code welcome to ksi data research let's get started ksi data research all right just open the sql server and here is our sql server we learn how to en enter the data using the insert into and how we can use this insert into uh, statement in a different way we can use. So here is the table. In this table, we wanted to insert data. So we can insert data two different way. One of the way is writing the column name after the table name. Another one is we do not write any column name after the table. So when we give all the value to the column, say for example id name gender salary if we put all the value to the column at that time we do not need the column name we can use this insert into table name then we put value and all the values but if we do not have all the value for the column if we just wanted to have three or two columns value others we do not have at that time we have to write the column name for the insert into table. So let's start it with the practical do it and then understand clearly also. So just first run this table inside this practice database. So I'm just running this table. Okay, here is our table. So now if I just select all from worker, we see all the column name, that's all. So now we wanted to insert some data. So let's start it insert into table name worker and values. If I put one for ID name, put John, and then we put gender is a male, and then Say, for example, we do not have salary, okay? We do not have salary. What's going to happen? If we run this, insert into statement, it will not run. Look at here, because it's going to say column name of number of supplied value does not match table definition. So the number of column here, four, we are supplying only three, so it's not matching. So what, what is the way we can solve this issue? We can put single quotation here, but it still is not going to solve. Look at here, if I run it, it will give the value. Then if we run select all from the worker, it will give us zero, but something John's salary is zero. That is not right because John's salary, something we do not know. We do not know we is, has, hasn't been assigned for John's salary. So that is something has to be null, is not a zero. So that means it is not working here. So in order to put the null, what we can do over here, just copy this line and put it here and then I have to make it to here second value but look at here if I put the column name here because since we do not know the value for salary and gender so we do not know value for salary so we will not put salary column over here in that case if we run it without the single quotation just put the three column and three columns and three columns of value for this table. So now if I run it, you saw it was running. So now if I say select all from worker, you will see the it is null value. So John's value is null something we do not know. There are two different ways we can insert data into the table, two different ways. All right. So I think it is clear now. So another way you can uh, you learn how to put the null into the table. 
So this is the uh, process. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching.